Hello, my badass boys and badass babes. It's your favorite bad girl of the Black Hills, Virgo the Vixen. And this week, we're going to be talking about why I can never be a Sith Lord. So before we start, make sure you hit your likes and subscribe buttons down below. Okay, in last week's video, I gave some pretty good reasons why I could never be a Jedi, okay? And those reasons could easily be translated into why I would be a great Sith Lord, okay? Now, I could see some of the comments already, but let me tell you. There are several reasons why I could never be a Sith Lord, okay? And let's just get into it, because you're going to find these rather amusing and also interesting. The first thing is, I don't believe in this rule of two, where there's a master and apprentice. Hell no! I'm the vixen! If I am going to be a Sith Lord, quote unquote Sith Lord, I am going to have a Sith entourage. That's right. The vixen is going to have three to five younger Sith apprentices following her around, okay? Hey, I'm not doing this no shit solo. I'm having a crew with me, and we're going all over everywhere, and we're going to be living it up, okay? Which kind of leads me into the second reason why I could never really be a Sith Lord, okay? I can't really just live in some dark and dungy place. Ah, I am living in the best places, okay? I have the force. I have the ability to use the force. I am going to use it. I am going to live in the penthouse of the best buildings on the planet. Doesn't matter which planet. I'm there. I get the best. I walk into a restaurant. You will give me... The rest table. I walk into a department store. You will give me personal service. Why? Because, again, I'm the vixen. I'm a Sith Lord. Who's going to stop me? Think about that. Because you don't see, like, Darth Vader walking into anywhere. It's like, yeah, hey, I'm Vader. Worship me. Hell no. I'd be doing that. Which kind of segues ways into the next one is I would use my Force abilities to basically get everything at a reduced price or free I won't lie. I walk into a department store. I see an outfit I like. I go, you will sell me that for a dollar. Or I go to a restaurant. I go, this meal was bad. You will comp it for me. You know, I would use my force powers to get me anything, everything that my heart's desire. It doesn't matter what planet I'm on. I might have a girl's night, which kind of leads me to the next one. I would definitely be having girl's nights out, okay? There is no question. We pick a planet, we go have some fun, we do whatever we want, we leave the planet. And this is what I'm going to make sure. I have an armada, okay? I'm going to have a big old fleet ship just to handle me and my crew and uh, the parties that we're going to have on the decks, okay? I'm not going to lie. I mean, Vader wasted an opportunity. He had a fleet. He could have got a big ship. He could have had it as party central, and that's what I would be doing. I would have one ship just dedicated to like a big floating Cruise ship slash party, whatever you want to call it. All right? You don't see Sith doing that for some odd reason. All right? One of the next reasons why I could never be a good Sith Lord is I would not be using a lightsaber. You heard me. The, the Vixen would not be using a lightsaber. My choice of weapons would be a whip. That's right. Instead of a lightsaber, I would have a light whip. And think about this for a moment, how degrading that is. And also, for the record, the color of my whip would not be red. I want to make clear on that. It will be hot neon pink. Why did I choose that, okay? Think about this for a moment, how degrading it would be to be killed by someone using a hot neon, neon pink whip to kill you with. All right, you're in the afterlife. First guy says, how did you die? Oh, I got, you know, destroyed by some blaster fire. You know, hey, cool, you got destroyed. All right. How did you die? Well, someone stuck me with a lightsaber. Okay, you go on. How did you die? Uh, some psycho woman with a pink whip killed me to death. That person is going to get humiliated for here until the end of time. Because guess who beat him to death with a hot pink whip? And the, probably the most important reason and the final reason, now I actually did a little bit of research, okay? I asked this question, I did a little bit of research, you know, think about that for a moment on just how much of a nerd that makes me. But anyways, uh, why don't, you know, like force users like either the Jedi 
or the Sith Lords just use their Force abilities to turn off someone else's lightsaber in a lightsaber duel. Okay? And I found out the answer. The Jedi believe it is cowardice to do it like that. Okay? It's dishonorable. You can't do it. The Sith, however, feels like, hey, if you're not man enough or strong enough to take them on with a lightsaber and you have to resort to, like, little cheating tactics, you ain't good enough to be a Sith. Because guess what? The Vixen would be shutting lightsabers off. You come at me with a lightsaber, I'm just going to use my force ability to turn off your saber and then beat you to death with a hot pink whip. Is it cowardice? Possibly. But guess what? I'd still be alive and you being dead in the afterlife being shamed by every other force ghost because you got your butt whipped by a hot pink whip to death. So, basically, that's the main reasons why I can never be a Sith Lord. So today's life lessons from both these videos, I guess we could say is if you're, no matter if you're Jedi, no matter if you're Sith, um, I guess you just got to be who you are and um, go with it because let's face it, Vixen's got a Vixen. Anyways, my badass boys and badass babes, hopefully you got a little bit of entertainment from these last two videos and all I have to say is who's your Vixen and bye-bye.